When can I sit on my butt after BBL? Man, I have to revisit this topic again. I got a lot of comments on my last uh, post about this topic. And um, unfortunately, this is a very debatable uh, topic. And uh, I know for my patients, I know it's frustrating because you're like, I heard, I heard about this. I heard you can't sit on your butt. I can't sit on my butt for six months. I can't sit on my butt for two months. I can't sit on my butt for, for eight weeks. You know, unfortunately, there's, I guess the consensus is all over the map, unfortunately. And um, the reality of it is, I guess it's maybe surgeon dependent and their experience with the procedure. I find that in my clinical practice, and I've been doing this for 10 years now, I've done BBL fat transfer thousands and thousands of time. Um, I do with, with a tummy tuck all the time. And the question is, well, how do I sit on my butt and if I have a tummy tuck? The answer is you sit on your butt, you lay on your back, no big deal. I, I do this all the time, people. Um, you know, you're gonna, you might wanna question me, Are you? do you know what you're talking about? I think I do. I'm actually a board certified plastic surgeon, done thousands of procedures, I've seen the results, have before and after pictures to prove it. It's, it's consistent, you're gonna be fine. I don't think you compromise your result and if you don't sit on your butt for six months and it shocks me, it blows my mind to see patients who come to me and they say, I've had a, a BBL and I, and I don't wanna do it again because I couldn't sit on my butt for two months. I, I just can't imagine living your normal life, not sitting on your butt for two months. Like it just, I, how do you drive? How do you go to work? Is it worth it really to not sit on your butt for two months to six months? I've had patients come from Miami they were told that their surgeon told them you can't sit on your butt for six months. So they have a driver driving them around town and to work and for six months, is that really worth it? And I mean, for your butt, it makes no sense. And again, my clinical experience, again, I've done this thousands of times. I find no difference as long as you're sitting on something soft. Okay, so I give you a memory foam pillow to sit on. If you're gonna be sitting for an extended amount of time, you can sleep in your bed, you can sleep in a recliner. You know, now this huge industry of you need these BBL pillows and BBL mattresses, all these crazy stuff. I, I think as long as you don't have a lot of pressure on your butt, the, the fat transfer is going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Just I don't want you to sit on things hard, like sitting on the floor, sitting on a church pew for hours, sitting on hard metal chairs. As long as you do that and you stay on something soft, it's going to be fine. Again, the, the fat transfer is, you know, putting fat into the butt. We put as much as we possibly can. There's a certain limit to how much you can put in uh, for, for before we can close a hole and it's not coming out everywhere. And so you need to understand that that's the concept of it. So it's very unusual um, for me to have even asymmetrical volume loss where if you sit on your butt from one side and you don't sit on the other, that you get the asymmetry of, of a butt, like one butt smaller than the other. It, I haven't seen that yet. Um, I think you just gotta, you know, understand that the recovery is gonna be okay to sit on your butt and lay on your back. That's, that's just me telling you as an expert in what I do. So remember, if you like this information, you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please follow for my channel and stay tuned for more.